So welcome everybody and one of our new vlogs for JAL test diagnostics. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to start off on our main screen. So most of you already have this pre-programmed for the vehicle system scan. That button that identifies everything. So you guys are here and comfortable in that area. What we're going to do is that we're going to jump up to this different option. So in 20.1 when we did the software renewal like the interface change. It gives you the option of doing it manually. So while we're at it. This is a drag play uh, where you can click and drag, show things that you want them to come up. If you had the ag or the off highway, that would show up here as well. So you'd be able to drag that stuff out there. This one, for example, your gen sets, different options. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the manufacturer section and we're gonna click whatever we wanna go to. Now, the whole purpose of this is that when we go into a specific manufacturer, we can look at information without having the vehicle present. So for example, if we select Cummins, let's go remember our search options. So we search for IS, okay? All of the IS models come here and then we're gonna be able to search again and it's gonna be the ISX, for example. We we'll click on that, we're here, good to go. I don't know if you've noticed, but from the previous one to right now, all these buttons are suddenly available. And what we will do is select manual diagnosis. Once we click on manual diagnosis, we have to select our system. So let's say 2350. Let's go with the 11.9 2350. We click on here and then here, instead of saying connect on this top tab, it'll say see info. So we click on the see info option. And what it will do is that it's going to show us how to introduce the fault codes. So there's going to be a description on it, how to read manual diagnostics. So here it tells you the important stuff. Values displayed depend on the model of the vehicle. Some might not be able to be displayed, but most of them are. So option one, turn on the ignition key, fully press and release the accelerator pedal repeatedly three times. Now this is key if you want to get the codes to pop up in the dash. And then the third one is going to be only active fault codes will be displayed. So it shows up, it's there. Now, the cool thing about Cummins, or maybe not so cool, is that this is going to be like a sonar stuff. So it's going to tell you the amount of seconds between one. So right here, if it's two seconds between each little flashy, that mean that's like a one. Here we have four flashies before, and then another two seconds, and then another one. So that's how you configure your number. What we will do is, based on that information, um, I mean, talking to the driver or whoever's on the phone, put in the code. So the R code is going to be 141 in this example. Click on here and it will take us directly. So you guys are used to seeing this just as a uh, fault code reading or the troubleshooting process. But here's going to be a little bit different. The description says manual diagnostics code 141. Oil pressure sensor voltage is too low. So we started off directly with obviously no free frame data because we don't have a vehicle. So that information is not stored, but it tells you components related to the fault oil pressure sensor, and we're gonna go straight into our normal troubleshooting process. See information about the component. It's gonna show us some of the pictures. So now we know that if we have to send somebody out, why not send them with that part? That'll probably be helpful. As well, where that's gonna be located, the exact location on here, different pinouts, supply pressure. Here we have the oil pressure. So everything that we're used to seeing, and even we can even click on the component replacement guide and get the printout. Now, if we don't have the tool to send out with our driver, then there's different options. We can print this out. So you always have the print scenario that goes straight into your printer, or you can take screenshots of it, or you can take the tool and follow the procedure there. Now, if we jump back to our diagnostics menu, you can also get the wiring diagrams. So remember, we don't have this vehicle with us and maybe 100 miles away from us, but based on the specific system that we want to run diagnostics on, we can see everything that's going on with it based on the dash. And here it shows us how they're interconnected, how that's going to go into the pin, how that's going to go into the ECM. And then the final step is obviously going to be the fault code troubleshooting, where we will be able to pick up the elements that are that are associated to it. So here we're going to see the check of the faults are registered, pressure sensor, wiring connections, and go one by one, just like we would normally do. You can see that in the initial vlog on how to go about reading codes and, and repairing them. And go all the way to the bottom to our final step, which is always going to be clear codes and verify that that process is correct. All right. So to summarize it, we go into our diagnostics menu, select the manufacturer, and we're capable of looking at all of this information, which are your troubleshooting by symptoms. We can select the specific fault code and get a troubleshooting by fault codes, the component replacement guides, repair times, 
all of the good information, all the goodies from Info Online are going to be available through manual diagnostics. And sometimes it's going to be a huge time saver. Imagine you don't have to go out those 100 miles or you don't have to spend those two hours trying to get out. You could tell the driver to bring the truck in that it's going to be good to go or it's something that's really dangerous and you want to tow it. So with that said, this is how to utilize the manual diagnostics button. And thank you for joining us. And don't forget to tune in. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, all our social media. And that way you can keep up to date with more videos like this. Thank you and have a great day.